everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is just a little sit down video just to talk to you about how life has been since I unfortunately lost a baby due to an ectopic pregnancy and you know just a general chatty life update really. So if you weren't aware I found out I was pregnant and I will link the videos down below actually and then you can maybe go and have a look and you can see for yourself what happened but Unfortunately, I had an ectopic pregnancy and I had a injection on the 3rd of March 2018 to terminate the pregnancy due to it being ectopic and that was eight weeks ago now and I just wanted to come on and update you all on how I've been feeling ever since um, the ectopic pregnancy. As you probably will know if you've seen my other videos, it was an absolute shock that I found out I was pregnant. Um, but once I'd got my head around it, we were both excited and we wanted the baby, but unfortunately it wasn't meant to be at that particular time and I did have an ectopic pregnancy. Now the first few days after having the ectopic pregnancy um, injection, which I will also leave a link down below, um, about all, all about the injection and things. I felt really low, crying, just wanted my baby back. Um, yeah, my emotions were all over the place and I was feeling poorly from the side effects to the injection. So it took about a week or so for me to start feeling, you know, like me again. And then as the weeks have gone by, I've had good days and I've had bad days in all honesty. Some days I think about the baby all the time and I get really upset and I've still got the app on my phone which tells me how many weeks pregnant I should be. So I should actually be 16 weeks pregnant now. And each Friday I would have gone up a week and each Friday my heart sinks a little bit because I know that I should be celebrating like going up a week. And instead I haven't got a baby there to to nurture and protect anymore the baby's gone um yeah the first few weeks after the ectopic was very hard i my head was all over the place i just didn't know what what to think um some days i could be okay other days i'd just be really sad and when i reached 12 weeks or when i should have reached 12 weeks I just cried pretty much um, the whole morning and then I did go out with my friend in the afternoon and we spoke about the baby and she also has lost a baby um, when she was pregnant so we spoke about that as well. So it does help to talk to somebody that also knows what you're going through. But yeah, 12 weeks should be a time when obviously you're celebrating getting to the 12 week mark. That's the magic mark that everybody wants to get to. and. Unfortunately, I didn't get there. I lost my baby just over seven weeks and then obviously like 16 weeks, 20 weeks, finding out the sex and everything like that. They're all going to be really hard for me and also when the baby would be due, the baby would have been due um, around my eldest daughter's birthday. So we are actually looking at going away on holiday in September, October time, around the time that the baby would have been due because I just think it would be too hard to be here when the baby would have been due. David's um, circumstances are possibly changing with regarding work and he might be home a little bit more so that's good but yeah we've wanted to buy a house ourselves for a couple of years and we've been saving really hard for a really good deposit which we've now got so yeah over the next few months we're hoping to be able to buy a house so that's all exciting. Emotionally some days I'm fine some days I'm not um, I've been very snappy and angry, shouting, just not feeling myself, not wanting to get out of bed. I don't know if it's my hormones or anything um, because I wasn't allowed to get pregnant. I'm not allowed to get pregnant for three months after the injection because of the actual injection itself. It can cause um, abnormalities and things if you do get pregnant. Um, so I went back on the pill, which doesn't agree with me, it never has done, it gives me horrendous headaches but I wanted something to protect me for those three months so that we weren't um, pregnant you know during the time that they told me that I couldn't get pregnant so I went back on the pill but I think I will be coming off it because it's just given me awful headaches like it always used to when I was on the pill so I've been back to the doctors to talk about that and to just talk about you know alternatives and things so I'm not really sure what's going to happen on that front yeah but 
at the moment I am on the pill and it's giving me awful headaches so I don't think I'll be on it for much longer. On to the question of are we going to be having another baby? In all honesty I'm not sure because David said we could try for another baby one when he found out I'd lost the baby that we've just lost and I tried to explain to him that it was that baby that I wanted like not another baby I don't want a replacement like that's the baby that I wanted but do I see myself having another baby in the future or would I like another baby in the future then yeah it would be lovely because I just think that it would make our family complete but again I'd be in the same dilemma about would I get high premises again would I be able to cope because I'm getting older and with Ellie I've really struggled with the lack of sleep. Ellie Blesser had really bad reflux and really bad sleep issues which have been really hard and I don't know if I could cope mentally going through all that again. But then I get broody, I think about the baby that I've lost. So hand on heart at the moment I'm not sure. Um, if we are going to have another baby it won't be until after we've been on holiday and possibly bought a house so maybe next year I'm not really sure um, but you never know things happen for a reason and if it happens beforehand then that's awesome and if we decide to try again then that's awesome but if we decide not to try and we have our three girls then that's also amazing yeah life has been a struggle since I lost the baby my head's been all over the place and I've been an absolutely awful wife sometimes because I've been depressed, I've been angry, I've been snappy, I've been poorly, I've just not known what to do with myself because of all this stuff going on in my head. It's absolutely crazy the emotions that you go through. I mean some of it could probably be the mini pill that I'm now taking, um, I'm not really sure but I'm just trying to enjoy my girls and look forward to our holiday, look forward to the summer holidays, look forward to buying our house try and be a good wife to my husband maybe towards the end of the year we'll think about what's good for our family and if we want another baby or not but just watch this space and we will see and i'm sorry this is a very rambled um chatty life update it was a spare of the moment thing because i've lost my memory card with the video on it that i was planning on uploading tonight so i had to actually do a sit down video because i knew i could get it uploaded and edited in time so yeah, it was a very spur of the moment vlog. So I hope it's not too rambly and you've still enjoyed it. And yeah, that's life after a miscarriage. It's very hard. Um, but I've got three girls. I've got a healthy family. And that's all that matters. And a, a great husband. But yeah, it does upset me as I'm getting upset now. But the baby just wasn't meant to be at that particular time. So who knows what might happen in the future. But yeah, thanks for watching and please hit that subscribe button and get me a bit closer to that 1,000 subs. Thank you. Bye-bye.